Hello and welcome to what is the seventh episode in my series of videos on Australian built archtop jazz guitars. Today's video is about a guitar built by a Adelaide luthier called Tim Wright. And I bought this guitar off him when he moved to his shop in Mount Barker, I think in the early 2000s, about 2008, 2010, sometime around there. This particular guitar is Archtop serial number three. It's the third Archtop he built. He's built quite a few guitars. He builds flat tops as well as arch tops. And yes, as I said, this is the third arch top he built. Tim Wright is still building guitars and repairing guitars. And if you want to go visit his website, there it is. He's also um, active on Facebook and you can have a look at what he's doing there as well. So this guitar is a full 17 inch arch top guitar. It's built with the traditional timbers, so it's got the spruce top and the maple back and sides that you'd expect of a traditional arch top. However, it's not very traditional cosmetically. The most noticeable characteristic of the guitar is its sound holes. It has the sort of modern sound holes, probably based on the style of the, the, the Cristo Centura sound holes. And of course, it's finish. It's a bright orange guitar, which is not a traditional finish. Uh, the other non-traditional feature of this guitar, I guess, is the neck dimensions. The, the neck is actually very thin, make, which makes it really nice and easy to play. It's almost as thin as you'd expect to find on like a, an Ibanez Superstrat or something like that. A really thin guitar, really thin neck. And the other interesting characteristic feature of the guitar is the bridge. The bridge is made out of three pieces of ebony. It has, um, I was about to say no moving parts, but it doesn't have adjustable saddle height via thumb screws like you'd expect on an arch top but it does have adjustable saddle height via a wooden wedge which is also a de Cristo inspired design so the string tension pushing down on the bridge goes straight through to the spruce top of the guitar with no interacting metal parts another characteristic styling feature of this guitar is the headstock shape as you can see it's not the traditional headstock it uh, <laughs> You might be forgiven to think that Tim was going to build a seven string guitar and build a headstock shape around that design, but no, it's a six string guitar and that's just the design that he chose. And you can see the W of W for right inlaid into the headstock there. And of course it has the um, veneer both on the front and the back of the headstock. And you can see that it's fitted with Grover, they're in Grover Imperial tuning buttons on Grover Rotomatic tuners. Another way that this guitar departs from tradition is it does have a floating humbucker pickup that you might expect to find on traditional archtop guitars but it also is fitted with an acoustic style pickup. It's a B-band pickup which is actually mounted inside the guitar underneath the bridge mounted to the underside of the spruce top and it has on board the B-band preamp that comes with that style of pickup. And you can see in these photos as well, that it also has the rosewood binding. And you can also see in this photo the lovely ebony finger guard. One other thing you can spot in these photos is I've actually fitted some little rubber grommets to the strings just above the tailpiece. Because this guitar is so bright and so responsive, when it's played acoustically, the little string length between the bridge and the tailpiece actually also sympathetically vibrates. Sometimes that sounds fantastic and gives the, the guitar a lot more reverb and sustain and sometimes it perhaps gets in the way a bit <laughs> and so I've put those little rubber grommets there to just mute that extra resonance but uh, yeah I can easily take those grommets off if I want to enhance the sustain and the reverb of the guitar via that method. And here's a couple of shots of inside the guitar. Because it's got those big sound holes, it's easy to get a phone camera down in there and have a look. And you can see that the guitar is very clean inside. It's the newest guitar in my collection. And you can see there the B-band pickup. And you can also see the electronics for the traditional humbucking, floating humbucking pickup that's mounted to the finger guard. But it, uh, yeah, the volume and tone controls are actually mounted to the top of the guitar on the other side of the sound hole. And you can clearly see the X bracing that this guitar features. 
However, I'm sure you'd like to hear the guitar and hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to play a couple of tunes for you. I'll play one plugged into the electric pickup. But I think this guitar really sings acoustically. So I'll also play something acoustically so you can hear how this guitar responds. And I'll play fingerstyle or the plectrum. But personally, I think this guitar sounds better with a pick than fingerstyle. Um, it might just be the strings that I've got fitted to it, but I really do prefer this guitar played with a plectrum. So here I go, I'm going to play a couple of tunes for you, I hope you enjoy them. So there you go, that's the right arch top number three. You'll notice that it has a notably brighter tone than most of the vintage arch tops that I've got and the traditional arch top designs. I'm not sure how much of that is due to the design of the guitar, how thin Tim's carved the spruce and the maple in the body and particularly how thin he's carved the neck, those things certainly influence the tone. I noticed I completely forgot to mention the maker of the pickup. Um, that's because I really don't remember the guy's name. It is an Australian pickup made by a pickup manufacturer in Queensland. But yeah, as I said, I can't remember the guy's name, so sorry about that. Uh, when I had it plugged into the Fender Blues Junior, you'll notice I had the, um, the preamp gain just on the point that it would start to crack up when I powered in. And, and that's one of the things about this guitar. I really like how it really responds when you dig in a bit. So there you go, that's the right arch top 003. Uh, if you like the video, click like and subscribe, and please don't forget to comment below. And yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>